Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Lamb Chop Rides. Uh, Gregorio here. I'm um, just about to, a uh, very lucky chap actually today, because I have got myself a BMW M1000R, and this is, as you can probably see, the competition version. So they do two versions. One is the base M1000R, um, the difference being that the non-competition version doesn't have all the carbon fiber that you can see here uh, lots of trinkets the competition rear sets carbon 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 but more importantly carbon wheels the the non-competition version has forged wheels which obviously is still going to be fantastic but these are even lighter still uh, other than that the bike's pretty much the same same power i think bmw claim 210 horsepower uh, at the crank which obviously is rather a lot so yeah great bike lots of the electronics i've had a play around with electronics i've put it in uh, one of the race pro modes you get a number of race pro modes which basically gives you the ability to sort of customize throttle wheelie control traction control um everything basically suspension setup um and so i basically customize one of the modes but anyway enough of all that if uh Getting my impressions of the BMW M1000R is of interest, and why wouldn't it be of interest? Then uh, stick around and listen to my thoughts. And Chopsy, if you don't mind, that's for the intro. Anyway, beautiful day, so nice. Finally, we are now in late April uh, 2024 and the weather has been ridiculous. Cold, really cold for this time of year. I'm talking sort of like under five degrees max and so much rain, but today it's finally kind of stopped raining and it's warmed up now. It's a little bit chilly earlier today, but it's, it's warmed up, which is fantastic. So anyway, let's start this up. And obviously you've got this phenomenal BMW, typical BMW dashboard, which is really good. What I do like about this bike, personally, I love the extremely sort of fat and flat bars that it comes with. The riding position is really quite uh, quite sporty. This is sort of like the race looking style of dash. Obviously you can change the way that it looks, but I, I like this a lot where you've got the sort of sweeping rev counter. You'll see there win Race Pro 1, which is one of the sort of configurable modes. And you can sort of scroll between the various modes um, as you see fit um, and obviously there are three race pro modes so you could have completely different settings between the two and then obviously just quickly flick between them which i think is absolutely brilliant so so intuitive this also comes with a factory fit akropovic or akropovic depending on how you like to pronounce it it is obviously still got a, a catholic converter so it's it's not particularly loud actually um, but what I have noticed is, I don't know if it'll pick it up, it's got an absolutely fantastic overrun, nice little pops and gurgles, really like that, really engaging. It just feels so taut, the whole bike is taut, and I don't mean taut as in uncomfortable, I just mean taut as in very well sorted. You can just feel the chassis, the brakes already, I mean they are, and, and I noticed this last year when I rode one, Oh, a bit wet here. The brakes are probably some of the best brakes I've ever used. The front brake is just, oh my God, look how wet this is. The front brake is, is gorgeous. Really nice feel. I mean, it's one or two finger braking and it just, yeah, it's amazing. And it comes with the M blue calipers, which you may have clocked when I just did that kind of quick walk around. Um, which, which interestingly actually some people I've seen online kind of hate that and think it's a missed step by, uh, by BMW I, um, I'm a bit worried about myself really as being a little bit cheap because I, think I actually quite like them I think they look quite glitzy and there you go I'm obviously very shallow and stupid so I'm not going to play around too much with the modes on this ride now that I've kind of got it as I like it and I can tell you now that I just had a little tinker before I set off to change the things that I didn't like about it when I had first picked it up. And it, it really does, it almost feels, and this is a bit extreme I think, but it does feel like a different bike. To start with, I, when I jumped on it, I thought, oh, this is not as, 
this is not as nice as I remember. The suspension was ridiculous. The throttle response was literally like an on-off switch. And when you've got this much power, it was just too much. So I've now changed all of that. Not nowhere near the softest, but just got it into a nice mixed mode. And it feels instantly completely different, better. But the handling of this bike, I mean, it's just, you know, you could just, it's ridiculous. The riding position, as I, as I mentioned just on the intro, it's, I think it's probably nigh on perfect for any riders out there that, you know, like a bit of sporty riding. It's, it's definitely not sports bike uncomfortable, but you are cantered forward. The pegs are fairly high and, and, and back slightly. The bars are just in the right place. You get way over the front. They are wide, which again on the road, I think it just feels really nice. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it, it is a sort of pretty sporty ride. That's for sure. Oh, it's so nice. It feels just so confidence inspiring. front end just feels gorgeous the brakes they're just right where you want them <laughs> I'm in love oh I'm so annoyed I loved this last year and I thought maybe it was just a just a mad moment and I loved it but it wasn't as good as I thought it perhaps was it is it really is this is something else. Oh, I just wish there were no cars on the road and no tractors on the road and I wish they just closed the roads and put marshals all over the place and allow me to just do what I like. Maybe if I never become Prime Minister, I'll have a national motorcycling day where we close all the roads in the whole of the UK just for motorcyclists to ride like nutters. Can you imagine? Uh, the other thing which I've not mentioned is obviously the, the motor, the engine. So typical straight four, but um, so smooth on this bike and what I like about it on the road is when you are just you know pottering around taking it very sensible it's so flexible you know and I think fours have got a bit of a reputation for being a, you know a bit down on torque but this thing is not it, it feels you know instant really the gearbox on this bike is I don't know how they've done it it's so good there is no mechanical clunk and noise when you change gear. I mean, a log just fell off the tree. It's just so smooth up and down. It, it feels absolutely lovely. And I think unlike other, some other bikes, you normally have to, in my experience, particularly on the, well, only on the upshifts, sort of put the gearbox under quite a bit of load for it to be smooth on this. You don't have to do that at all. When, you know, just on very slow roads around town, you can just poodle up from second to third, just select the next gear, and it just slots in with no fuss at all. Really, really nice. And I do think it makes the whole riding experience just sort of a bit more enjoyable and relaxing. And I'm the way I ride is I, I like to use the gearbox a lot um, for sort of smooth road riding. And uh, on this, yeah, you don't hesitate to change gear because it's all so seamless. Whereas, you know, on other bikes that I've ridden, you can sometimes just think, oh, I won't bother changing gear because I can get away with not just because it's a little bit clunky or annoying. Not so here. So th this mode that I'm in now, uh, in terms of the, certainly the suspension setup, it is so much softer. And I'm not saying it's soft because it's not, but it was probably a little bit, it was a bit unbearable. Uh, for the road now it is totally fine uh, and you know i've i've not got the the greatest back on planet earth and so i'm a little bit more sensitive than others to you know particularly the rear suspension being too hard this is totally and utterly fine i could 100 percent live with this uh, other things as well all the usual gadgetry you've got the the turn wheel there for all of the controls and, and i'm not actually massively familiar with using that but i've just as i say had a little play for 10 minutes to change up some of the configurational settings on race pro one and it's, i found it really intuitive and easy so I, I, I like that already it's good obviously got cruise control got heated grip so you've got all the creature comforts that you'd ever need it's very very good i'm, I'm sorry to be so positive but you know when you just get on a bike and actually it is 
obviously a pretty amazing bit of kit. Well, this definitely is. Yeah, as you can tell, just in the lower revs, you know, you just pick up the throttle, you know, in the front, just gets nice and light. There's no, there's no lacking in torque, I can assure you. You know, and I think if, when I ride it back to back with the Super Duke, you know, it may feel, in relative terms, a little lacking at the bottom, in relative terms. Uh, it, but, you know, it's, it's really, really not. It's so intuitive. And I think that's the, that's the sign of a good bike, really. A few piles there. You get on it and it just feels right. The controls feel right. The brakes feel right. The reach of the levers feels gorgeous. So it's all adjustable anyway, but it's just so damn good. The handling is just impeccable. I think from a riding dynamics point of view, I think it's just very difficult not to give it 10 out of 10. It's a really good bit of road this. Nice and very wet there. <laughs> oh. Honestly, the ultimate test for a bike is could you see yourself owning one, buying one? I really could. Where do I sign sir? Where do I sign? This is an amazing first, finally taking some layers off this year rather than putting more on when I'm out because it's warmed up lovely. Yeah, but look at this thing here. Yeah, it's just, just so nice. Obviously carbon at the front, carbon little windshield there. Obviously you've got the aero. These are the M calipers that you get on the, on the M versions. Really amazing brakes. I say I personally like the blue, so yeah, no problem with those. I mean, I suppose if you hated it, you could get them painted. And we've got these gorgeous carbon wheels. I mean, look at them, just incredible, aren't they? And it's gonna help the way the bike handles. That unsprung mass is even lower, gyroscopic effect. Blue Brembo caliper, single pot at the rear. And then you get these kind of machined. These are only on the competition. I don't think you get these on the non-competition, but you can buy them separately if you want to. More carbon, carbon hugger blue shot there obviously electronic suspension on this bike and uh, yeah I've really noticed a massive difference in changing the setup of those softened everything right off which makes perfect sense and it's by no means a soft bike that's for sure but it's totally fine yeah lots of carbon around the tank you know it's, even if you don't like the look uh, I do but if you don't there's no denying it's striking and then from the front obviously you've got kind of all that aero yeah, nice machine, fully adjustable levers. Yeah, something else, isn't it, really? 200 section rear tyre. I think it's got one of the, uh, I forget what these call these now, like an M performance chain or something. I can't remember the exact terminology, but it's meant to last longer. Um, so, yeah, decent chain. Obviously, got the quick shifter, full electronics. I mean, you name it, it does it. It's so, so sophisticated, but it seems to work really well. I am. Um, uh, yeah, liking it a lot. So anyway, gloves back on. Sling the leg over. And uh, let's have another go. So, let's have another little cruise around. God, I feel lucky today. Got this for a few weeks as well, so be even luckier. Oh, cut that out. That was on the bike. That was me being a moron. Yeah, this has also got the, uh, the M. Everything's M, isn't it, with BMW? <laughs> It's got the M seat, so it's sort of shaped in a way where it's actually, I've not really noticed the sore body in about an hour and a half of fairly continuous riding. 
but it's nice you can sort of hang off it and move around on it nicely which on this sort of bike I think you'd want to do more so so yeah no real complaints from me I'd say there's not a lot not to like and I will try you know I'm gonna try and think of some criticisms but I don't want to criticize it just for the sake of it it's not a criticism but it's just a more of a deep question really do you really need this much performance full stop you know uh, and the answer is of course you don't um, because it, you, you simply cannot use it I mean I'm doing 4,000 just over 4,000 rpm you know I'm not even I'm not even touching the sides obviously of what this thing can do uh, so you don't need it but it doesn't mean you can't have fun on it because the handling is so good the braking is so amazing you feel very safe on it in the sense that it, it's so capable that no matter what you want to do on it it does with such ease that it does make it pretty safe obviously it's not safe if you were to go ridiculously fast on it but I think it it's you know some cheaper bikes you know they can feel like they're getting a little bit bent out of shape quite quickly and you could argue that you know if you're doing some brisk road riding they're not as safe as something like this so you can't justify needing this but I certainly I certainly bloody want it and yeah I do like it and I feel with this bike I can feel where all of your money's going it's going in top componentry all the boffins at BMW just really thinking about all the things that it needs to be capable of doing and they've done a really good job and um, yeah it is really 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 good uh, it's definitely you know I love it I'd buy one I'd like one I want one you know and uh, that's that's what it's all about I'm obviously far from cool but I feel cool on this and I think that's I think that's important as well um, you know with some bikes I get on them and I just I don't I feel I feel awkward on them not because they do anything wrong but I just don't don't feel at home I don't feel like that on this it's good so anyway we're cruising around here I won't ramble on for too much longer uh, but my advice is to anyone looking for a new bike if you want something that is highly capable quite desirable um, very adjustable and adaptable depending on how the mood takes you and how you're going to ride it and very easy to do it and you know you can have all these modes set up customised in a way that you like and then you just literally toggle between them if that's the sort of thing you want you really ought to you really ought to check this out you know direct competitors it goes without saying all the obvious ones Ducati Street Fighter V4 uh, more money um, but I'm sure and I've not ridden the very very latest version of that but it's meant to be uh, much improved over the one that I did ride about three years ago um, Super Duke obviously 1390 uh, you then got the MT10 SP uh, what else uh, Aprilia Tuono which is a little bit longer the tooth now to be honest in relative terms and don't get me wrong fantastic bike my son rides one and I adore the thing it's brilliant but uh, it's not as sharp I don't think as this in reality you know it feels heavier you know it's beautifully handling bike the Aprilia but it is it's not it's not like this so at the moment for my money and it's not because I'm on this right now I think this is my pick and my favorite which is kind of fairly surprising because I'm not normally the biggest BMW fanboy overall not for any other reason just personal taste really but this is really good it's just so easy it's beautiful cannot believe how much fun this thing is there you go that's the word that's the first time I've used that this that word in the whole ride it's just fun and isn't that the point I like it a lot 
I'm in love. Please, Chopsy, don't put that bit in. No singing. See, the issue that I've got, everyone, is obviously I'm here as a, a guest performer uh, for, for Dear Lamb Chop, uh, but uh, I don't do the editing. <laughs> so so when, uh, when I make a complete hash of it, which, of course, you could argue the entire video is a hash, uh, he can put what he likes in and I don't get to choose. So I don't embarrass myself. False neutral back there wasn't a false neutral. I hit neutral. My fault entirely. I bet he puts it in. You better not. Don't put it in, Jobsy. I'm trying to pretend here that I know what I'm doing. And of course I don't know what I'm doing. But I don't want your viewers to know that. They'll never tune in again. So anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. I, uh, I apologise that you are uh, having to settle for me today. But uh, Chopsy is obviously keen to bring out plenty of content, high quality content, and hopefully this fits within that category. Um, but no, really appreciate you joining. This is a great bike. I uh, hope you've enjoyed getting my sort of, just high level thoughts really on what it's like to ride. Brilliant bit of kit. You know, just a uh, bit of an engineering marvel in a way, I would guess. And it just amazes me what can be done. Yeah, um, absolutely love the bike. If you're in this sort of category of bike ownership or want this sort of thing I'd definitely give it a try um, I'd be surprised if you didn't like it uh, you may not end up buying it and you may choose something from the competition but I think you'll like it so give it a go and thank you very much bye I know I'm gonna love this it's gonna be probably one of the hardest comparisons we've ever done oh no this is too good as well Bit of grunt around the corners. So much drive out the corners on the twin as well. You just got that power right there, haven't you? Yeah, this is lovely around there. Three, two, one, go!